welcome to my youtube channel it's your farm doctor okay we will be talking about aquaculture catfish um rearing today but we fully will not be going to the practical aspect today as you can see i am in front of my ponds although they are not filled up yet for now i want to treat the pond after farming for the whole year but let's put it aside in the next videos we will be talking about the practical aspect when i'm ready to stock my pond but look at me catfish is a very 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 wonderful fish as you can see this is my catfish pepper soup mm, yummy and this one it's a smoked fish and um, pepper soup awesome you don't want to miss this okay so this is my pond. Let's move closer to one of the ponds. As you can see, this is the inlet for water inlet, and this is the, for the water outlet. And I have about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight ponds, so that when I want to do my sorting, and I'm um, sorry, I'm eating. <laughs> so when I want to do my sorting, and when I want to start separating them from the fries, because I also act, so from the fries to the fingerlings to the juveniles and all that. It's a wonderful, it's going to be a wonderful experience, don't worry. So, 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 by next year when I start stalking, I'm going to talk about catfish practically, but let's deal with the health aspect of catfish. Love you. Look at the next video. So, welcome back again. Now, we're talking about catfish and, you know, I, I mean, today we'll be going to the health factors um, that are surrounding catfish in itself. The health and the nutritional components. Um, don't worry, very soon we'll be talking about in the farm, 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 farm aspect. Now, catfish has um, you know two major components that are very, very edible. Apart from the bones, so to say, the slight bones in catfish, we have the catfish itself, uh, the fish itself, and we have the catfish oil. Now, catfish is highly oily, so to say. <coughs> It has high level oil and this has made it wonderfully medicinal because the oil contains omega-3 fatty acids and some acids that are wonderfully structured to add value to the health of man. Now let's pick one of the one or two of these things, you know, to 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 to, 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 to steer our appetite. Now a woman released uh, a researcher, let me put it like that, in the name uh, with the name Miss um, Pal, released an article, a scientifically proven article on fish oil and fish oil supplements in the prevention of coronary heart disease. Are you joking? Catfish, preventing coronary heart disease. First thing first, let me, uh, let, let's talk about coronary heart disease. Okay, well, what happens, what, what, do we, what do we call that? This happens when there is excess fat accumulation, excess cholesterol accumulation in the blood vessels. For example, you look at this blood vessel, this is a very normal blood, um, um, very normal artery with the red blood cells at the center. But when you come down here, it begins to get abnormal because there is excess um, cholesterol, which can also be called plaque. There is excess cholesterol here and it begins to accumulate. And so when it begins to accumulate, it begins to hinder the flow of blood. And this leads to what we call the coronary heart disease. And when this happens, man begins to feel excess pain in the heart, you know, begins to enter into a level of weakness. You begin to see them eating their chest heavily. And so this wonderful Catfish in itself is instrumental in preventing this. Can you imagine how far it can be? Well, it's scientifically proven. Also, um, it's instrumental in lowering blood pressure, no doubt about it. It was proven by Igna Brief and an article she released fatty acid composition of catfish visceral oil. It's so, 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 so instrumental in lowering blood pressure. Why? Because it contains, you know, the fatty acid that allows. And so long it even allows the prevention of fat accumulation, it has low cholesterol, definitely to be instrumental in the free flow, free flow of blood, even in the blood vessels. So it, it has been proven also. Now another thing I want us to take note and cognizance of, as it was released or confirmed by Ashley Koff, a, an American um, nutritionist, she said, and I quote, that uh, fatty acid contains vaccinic acid, uh, sorry, catfish contains vaccinic acid, which is a type of fatty acid in catfish that um, you know inhibits the bacterial growth and promotes tissue regeneration or tissue generation. I mean, it also facilitates healing uh, the epithelial cell of the body. And what is the epithelial cell? These are the cells that are present on the skin structures of the body. We have a number of them: the squamous, the simple squamous, um, the codona, and the lines like that. Well proven. Can you imagine this? This is the same catfish we are talking about. 
catfish is highly proteinous, has high level protein with little cholesterol, little calories, so that man will not be combining excess fat and you know you don't have excess fat at all. What else can be wonderful than this creature? Now imagine you taking, you know, probably one catfish, a full catfish, so to say, take it a day. I mean, I'll take it once in a week and see how you wonderfully go and walk through a wonderful health. Listen, what you eat really matters. Far beyond the drugs, far beyond you preventing, you know, one ailment or the other. Why not subject to food and let it do the best it can do in you? So we talked about catfish today and by the time we'll be coming next, we'll give you more in-depth on the realities in food itself. I love you. Please like, please share, please subscribe. My name remains your farm doctor.